in, in this video I'll show you how to add an extra hard drive to a Dell Windows 7 PC. As you can see I removed all the cables from the computer. To add a hard drive you're going to need the STA data cable. This one has a 90 degree angle plug on it. I looked ahead and uh, opened the case and discovered that it would be best to have one. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and the hard drive itself. In this case it's a Western Digital 1 terabyte. Okay, first step is to remove the side panel. On this Dell it has two screws I have to unscrew. And you just pull it off. Now as you can see there's an extra power cable for it. And there's plenty of ports for uh, extra hard drives. I'll be plugging it into the black one here. I'm inserting the straight plug on the data cable into the motherboard and leaving the right angle plug for the hard drive since there's so little space between the hard drive and the side panel. To install the hard drive in the computer I need to remove two metal rails and attach those to the hard drive before I can slide it into the computer. I had to use number six three-eighths inch machine screws to attach the rail to the hard drive. I'm going to have to remove the, ex the data cable on the old drive so I can slide in the new one. Now I can screw it in. After that I can start plugging in all, all the cables. Power the data cable on the old uh, hard drive and the new data cable. There, now it's installed. Now I'll reattach the side panel. After I do that, I'll uh, reattach the monitor and the power cord and the keyboard, etc., what I had removed earlier. Now I'll start up the computer and I'll show you as you can see the hard drive that we installed doesn't show up yet it hasn't been formatted we're going to need to format it first to format it we're going to need to go to uh, the control panels and click the to the administrative tools and computer management and then the uh, under the storage go to disk management it will automatically ask you to initialize the new disk that we just installed just click OK you can leave the default settings 
now that we have it initialized, we can uh, format it. Right click the new drive and select new simple volume. All the default settings should work for most installations. If you need to tweak it, go ahead, but I would just follow the default ones. Make sure all the settings are good and then click OK. We chose the quick formatting so it's done in under, uh, under a minute. It should be all set and ready to use now. As you can see, there it is, all set. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check my other videos out at my YouTube channel, Fox Know How.